Chris is our old partner, you know. Hello, I'm Critical Failure, and this time on Tiger Claw TV I'm going to do something a little different and show you how to run your ancient DOS games on a Windows 2000 PC or higher. I know there are many DOSBox tutorials on YouTube, however, I've already reviewed a couple of games which require DOSBox, and to me, Tiger Claw TV just doesn't seem complete without this video here. DOSBox games are pretty easy to get a hold of on the internet because, well, they're old and not very big in size, but they won't work on modern operating systems by themselves. First thing you're going to do is visit www.dosbox.com, link in the description. Don't worry, DOSBox is a free program, so go ahead and download it. It downloads as an EXE file, so it extracts and installs quite easily. Just download the file and run it, and it'll get itself set up just like most programs you'd get off of download.com or something like that. So we're going to skip that step because I have that done already. Also, keep in mind, I've never had a problem uninstalling DOSBox either. It's not one of those programs like Norton Antivirus that binds itself to your system. No Internet Explorer toolbars or anything like that being installed with it, so you don't have to worry. There are two ways to get your old games running. One way is to drag your executable file from the game you want to play right over the DOSBox icon, and away you go. That's the simple way. That's the more practical way to do it that you're probably going to end up using more often. However, if you're playing a game that requires a different command string when you run it every now and then, for example, when you load a game in Rogue, you have to type in the save file when you run the program, like say, Instead of typing rogue to start the game, you type rogue space um, save.sav. If you want to do something like that, you're going to need to get into an, a DOS prompt. So to do that, you're going to have to go to your C drive and set up a folder. Do yourself a favor and title it DOS. You want something simple because you're going to be hand typing this most of the time. Basically, this folder is going to be where you run and where you place and run all your DOS programs for DOSBox. Think of this folder as the mock-up C drive for your virtual old computer. So this is where we're, going to, where we're going to take our Space Quest folder and drag it and drop it. So now we're ready to run DOSBox. What you're seeing now is an old-fashioned MS DOS prompt. If you need help figuring out how to use the DOS prompt, there are other videos out there that'll explain it, or perhaps I'll make a video later. But the basics are CD to change folder. CD dot dot will bring you back a level. You can make a folder by typing MD space in the folder name. To see what's in a folder, you, DIR is the command for directory, or better yet, DIR slash P to scroll the directory one page at a time. But like I said, you can figure out all that by, by running another, uh, another video. Right, that said, so what do we do now? The first thing you need to do is tell DOSBox where you put your DOS folder. You do this by quote unquote mounting it. Yeah, you heard right. You're going to mount your DOS folder. If you put the DOS folder where I told you, you should be able to just type mount C space uh, C colon slash DOS. That's mount and then C what you're going to call your, your virtual um, folder and then space and then where your folder is on your actual computer. So now the virtual C drive is set up, so let's switch over to it. Type C colon and that's it. And that would be if you called it something else, like if you put mount S space and then where it is, it would be S colon. So if you do that, what you're looking at now is your directory. Okay? So you can view the contents by typing dir or dir slash p to look at it one page at a time. And basically, this is the contents of the folder we made. That's it. You should be able to run all the games in your DOS folder now. One problem you're going to run into along the way is games that are beyond old will uh, run a little bit too fast. You're going to need to adjust the CPU cycles to make them work at a playable speed. A good example is the pinball construction set. Now what you're looking at, this is a pinball pack I made for the, the pinball construction set video back when Tiger Claw TV launched. If you want a good MS-DOS program to test DOSBox, these tables are available for download on my website. That's all free. So using one of the two methods we talked about, load up these tables in DOSBox, and you're going to see the program just runs as fast as DOSBox can run it. You're going to need to tell DOSBox to slow down a little so you can really play the game. Control F11 uh, will make DOSBox run the program slower and control F12 will make it run faster. That's it. That's all you need to know. So now you got everything you need to play the oldest DOS games out there. You can get started with my pinball construction set tables. Now if that doesn't sound interesting to you, another good suggestion is the original Castle Wolfenstein. These are both freeware games, so you don't have to worry about licenses or anything like that. The download links are going to be in the description along with the link to where you can pick up DOSBox. Thanks for watching. This is Critical Failure for Tiger Claw TV, signing off.